Hi, my name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. Today I'm going to tell you how to wash and travel with only two pair of underwear for a month of travel. Is it possible? Let's find out. possible to travel with only two pair, not even three, but two pair of underwear for an entire month? Absolutely. I've done it and I'm going to show you how to do that in a moment. But before I do, if you wouldn't mind hitting the subscribe button that helps support my channel. Thank you very much. And also please leave a comment below. Let me know how I'm doing and give me some other ideas for videos that might help you in your adventure, travel, film, uh, trekking, and motivation. Thank you. So, how in the heck do you travel with only two pair of underwear for a month? Doesn't that sound kind of gross? Like, ooh, how are you gonna do that? Well, that's why you can't stop by this channel. Now, I've traveled extensively around the world. I'm, I've been gone for like a month in North Africa, couple months in Antarctica, weeks and weeks and weeks in Europe and South America, uh, all over the United States. Africa, I've been around places. I just haven't been to Australia. I need to fix that soon. Even India, spent a couple weeks in India and I only needed two pair of underwear. So let's get over this right now. Everybody wears underwear. Unless you go commando, you're going to wear underwear, all right? Whether you're ladies, men's, boxers, bikini briefs, thong, whatever you got, I'm gonna now show you how to do this. So every day I'm gonna stop down here and whether you use ex officio traveling underwear or icebreaker. These are both incredibly good travel underwear. For this, to travel like this, you do not want cotton underwear. Ugh, gross. Because when you wash them, they won't dry in time. And cotton underwear tends to absorb oils from you and all sorts of grossness. And even though you can wash it, the fabric stretches out and it never really reconstitutes. So pitch the cotton underwear. What does that leave you with? Synthetic ex officio type underwear or wool icebreaker type underwear. I'll put links below to both of these. I have used both of these brands traveling extensively around the world. So when you think, oh, I'm going to have to do my laundry in a sink. Yeah, in a sink. That kind of sucks, right? I mean, let me turn the camera around just to give you an idea. You're going to have to, hi, you have to go down to this sink here, wherever the sink is, I can't even see it. And you're gonna have to slosh around and use some soap and pump the soap on there and wash it around and that's pretty miserable, right? And you're gonna get all soaked. That's not how you do it, people. That is for amateurs. Washing your clothes in the sink is for total amateurs when you have a washing machine on you. Right, so check out my washing machine, a handy dandy shower. You say, what? That's right, I can wash shirts, I can wash pants and clothes and underwear all in the comfort of my shower or whatever shower and hotel, whether I'm in, in Moshi, Tanzania or Paris, France, you can totally get in here and wash your underwear. And, you know, you can wash any clothes, but the key is not only to washing, but to drying and the cycling of how you do this. So the way to do this is if you only want to bring two pair of underwear, and this is what I do all the time, and yeah, this is in my business, right? Is every day, whatever you're wearing now gets washed and the previous day's wash is what you're going to wear tomorrow. So the key is to wash your underwear at night when you're taking the shower. Because see, you're washing in the sink, it's a small space, you don't wanna slosh water around, it's a pain in the butt. Instead, you simply get in your shower, you crank the water up, you begin hosing off and doing your thing, cleaning yourself up, and once you're cleaned up, it really, I mean, I wouldn't even bother doing the actual personal cleanup until you finish the shower cleanup. But you literally drape your underwear all over the place. But what I do initially 
is I throw the underwear and all my other clothes into the bottom of the shower, get the water running and get everything soaking and get any initial grit and grease off. So then I crank up the shower and I'm not gonna stand here naked for you. Who are you, what are you thinking? And you get the shower going, you grab your handy dandy bar of soap and you scrub it all over your underwear and then once you've got that, now I've got soap on my hands, perfect. You begin moshing and churning the underwear in your hands and maybe even rub it on you, but squirrel it around, get it wet, squirrel it around, and you keep doing this and ring and ring and ring until finally you think your underwear are pretty clean. Now, are your underwear going to get as clean as you could with a washer? I would say almost yes, simply because I've had to do this. Let me get the soap off my hands here. I've had to do this and literally travel on the road for months and it's totally worked. And they don't feel downy fresh, like with Tide or anything. I mean, they smell like a bar of soap, but soap is clean. That's the ultimate. So once you get your underwear all suds up, you just literally stand here and you just begin sloshing and twisting and folding and twisting until your underwear are completely soap free. And this is key because if you have underwear that are soapy, downstairs is going to be very bad news. Now, ladies, you might have a cotton crotch area and that little bit of cotton is, is totally survivable. You just have to have that for health reasons. But uh, for men, you know, no big deal. For ladies, that little bit of cotton, it's no big deal at all. So once you get your underwear all washed and you're confident all the soaps out of it and if you're trekking a lot it can be pretty uh, disgusting okay so you've got them and now you've got soaking wet underwear what the heck do you do Aaron you just messed with me dude I've got wet underwear and I gotta travel tomorrow hold on so here's the other trick I'm gonna pull my underwear down here and now we'll close the door now this does take a hotel that has a bit of tolerance, but what you're going to do, especially with the ex officio and the icebreaker underwear, ex officio and icebreaker, neither of, them, neither of them sponsor me, I'm just showing you how to do this. You do the rolled burrito drying technique, all right? So let me tilt the camera down here, way down there. And what you do is you lay out a towel just a regular full-size bath towel, like this. And you put your underwear completely flat, like this. And we'll say we even have two pair, just because, you know, just to give you an idea, because this is, simulates how to dry a shirt as well. So this is a good way to go. And what you do is you get that layered underwear on there, or your shirt, or your pants, or whatever. And you begin rolling it up so there's a single layer and once you suck in your underwear, you begin stomping, not with the arch of your feet, but with your heels. And you just begin stomping the heck out of them until you get bored. I do several passes because I know this is the key and the magic. And then I pull this back, I unroll here, and voila. My underwear are substantially dry. Now they're only a bit moist. So now what do you do? <laughs> well, this is the final trick to this, I would say, hack if you're a millennial. Your underwear are now moist. You know, you've got moist underwear. They're actually like, hey, this is pretty dry. All you have to do is hang your underwear somewhere where there's a tiny bit of airflow. Anything will do. So if you just drape them over the door like this, they may dry, they may not. But you see this gap here in the door, it's a, it, it looks like a friggin' mess, okay? But let me turn the camera. You can see here that by allowing air to circulate around your underwear, you can actually have dry underwear. Just turn on the fan, right? Turn on the fan. It just generates the tiniest bit of airflow. And with ex officio underwear and icebreaker, 
they dry overnight. Your shirt may or may not be dry. Your pants may or may not be dry. I, I use Eddie Bauer travel pants and all sorts of different shirts. Let me shut the fan off here. But as long as there's a tiny bit of airflow around your clothing, don't hang them on uh, lamps or anything because electrocution possibility, damage or anything else. But if you've got a little bit of a, a string that you carry with you, you can tie it between a door or something. Be careful in the night so you don't injure yourself because this, this is a bit of a risky technique, but you can literally pull a clothesline between two things. Don't use the sprinkler on the ceiling, otherwise you're gonna be in trouble. And in the morning, you will wake up to fully and completely dry underwear. They might have a tiny bit of moisture, but no big deal on there. You change up, you put your new pair on, and you're ready to rock for a new day, and you've got you know, what you've got on you, and you've got another clean pair of underwear waiting. It's a great system, or sleep overnight. Uh, so, sorry, you sleep overnight in the underwear you had in the day, and then in the morning, put your new dry ones on, and in the evening, then you get the other pair, you wash them, and you cycle like this for an entire month. Now, does it seem like a lot of work? Yeah, it's a little bit of work. But think about this, weight is everything when you're traveling. There's a, there's a Spanish saying that, eh, let's see, was it uh, even a straw weighs heavy on a long trek, something like that? Every ounce literally counts when you're trekking around it. It makes a huge difference to your experience. So that is how you only travel with two pair of underwear for an entire month, whether you're in North Africa, Australia, uh, Southeast Asia, South America, Europe, wherever you want. This is how you do it. My name is Aaron Linsdow. I'm a polar explorer and professional traveler. I hope this has helped you show that it is possible to travel with only two pair of underwear for a month. Please like and comment on the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. And also please support me on Venmo, PayPal, and Patreon. Get out there and travel.